So we began this week with Jose Reyes, and we will end this week with Jose Reyes as well. By the time we talk next, in two weeks, we're off next week for the holiday. Reyes will have made his second Mets debut, completing his very quick turnaround from his 52-game domestic violence suspension. I truly think there's no right answer here about how to feel about Reyes being back on a big league team. It makes total sense to be totally against it because what Reyes did, even though he wasn't prosecuted for it, assaulting his wife in their Hawaiian hotel room back in October, is not forgivable. It's just not. And I understand people like Casey Stern who don't want to forgive Reyes and therefore don't want him on their team. But I find myself arguing in defense of a second chance because one day I might need one. And therefore, uh, it'd be tough to ask for one if I told somebody else when there's room for it that they couldn't have one as well. But where I do think you can go wrong here is in actually celebrating Reyes' return to the field. Because he's coming back from something completely of his own doing, something that was 100% avoidable, not to mention reprehensible. This is not a player coming back from injury or illness or anything else out of his control who therefore should hear the applause as he completes his road back to the big leagues. Reyes got a loud ovation before every one of his four at-bats in his first game with the Mets singly affiliate in Brooklyn recently, and I don't understand why. Now, there doesn't, this doesn't mean that we should be booing Reyes at every turn either. I'll remind you that there is a third option, somewhere between the cheers and the boos, and that's indifference. Just sit there. If you're watching the game in the stands, on the couch, at a bar, wherever, just sit there. Watching the game and not turning it off out of disgust is enough of a sign of acceptance of Reyes' return. That's all he really, really needs. Because cheering this and cheering him makes it sound like something applaudable. And it's not. It didn't have to be this way. And no matter what Reyes does on the field, that will not change. When we are done this week. want to thank Casey Stern for jumping on as well as Adam the Bull from Cleveland. Again, enjoy your fourth. We'll see you in two weeks. For now, for Lori, for Matt, for Jacqueline, for Patrick, I'm Andrew. Have a happy fourth, and we'll see you afterwards. I'm Bogish at the Plate.